lesson, you're going to learn the difference between person and people and how to use these two correctly in your sentences. This is a lesson that many students have requested and I'm happy to make it for you because these are such common words. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between person and people. Now, it's a really easy difference. Person is singular. People is plural. That's really all you need to know. But don't worry, we'll go into a little more detail. And let me explain why this lesson was requested by so many students. It's because I did a lesson previously on collective nouns. Collective nouns are nouns that refer to more than one person or thing, but we conjugate them as singular because we think of them as one unit. For example, a family. A family, of course, has different members, different people in that family, but we conjugate it as one unit. So I would say the family goes on vacation every year. The family is going on vacation next week. Now, let's talk about person and people. So person is singular. There's one person at the party. There's one person in line at the store. One person called me today. Now, you can use one or you can use the article a, because a in this case would mean one. A person called me today. That would be one person. So they're the same. So now it's your turn. Leave an example with person in the comments below. Any example you want. Now, the second I get to two, I have to change my noun. It's no longer person. Person is only used with one. So when I get to two or more, I have to change my noun to people, okay? Now, people is not a collective noun. People is the plural form of person. There's no S on it, right? We don't put an S on it, but it's plural. So don't let that confuse you. Don't let the fact that there's no S confuse you. It's plural. When I say people, I need two or more. So I could say there are three people at the store. Five people bought me presents. Two people called me yesterday. 107 people came to my birthday party. So it doesn't matter what number you use, but two or more, it has to be people. And just to be clear, I want you to see the verb conjugation side by side. So I would say one person is coming to my party, two people, are. Two people are coming to my party. So I conjugate it using the plural form. One person is conjugated as he or she. Two or more people is conjugated as they. Now it's your turn. Leave a comment using people, any sentence, and make sure you get that verb conjugation that you conjugate it with they. Now let me explain one other type of sentence structure that you can use that's quite common, and that's starting a sentence with people. And in this case, we're referring to people in general. We're making a general statement about all people. So not any specific people, just people in general. 
And I could say, for example, people want to be happy, right? It's just a general statement. I'm not talking about any specific person. I'm talking about people in general. And I can just use people as my subject. People want to be happy. People want to be healthy. People want to be safe. So you'll see statements like that a lot. People in general, we're starting with our subject, people. So now you can try that sentence structure to a little more of an advanced sentence structure, but leave a comment starting with people and make a general statement. Remember, it's a statement that applies to all people, the majority of people, not a specific person, just people in general. So try leaving that example as well. So now you know the difference between person, singular, one person, conjugated as he or she, and people, the plural form of person. It's plural, we use it with two or more, and it's conjugated as they. Now you know the difference and you can use them confidently in your speech. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4isenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, I hope I made this nice and simple for you. I had at least 20 students ask me about this, so I hope this video was helpful. Now make sure you leave your examples in the comments below just to practice, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.